Let's model a valve body in SOLIDWORKS and we will learn some basic features. We have see we have one isometric view, then we have we have one uh, let's say side view. Okay, this is considered uh, front view. Then section view A. See this is the section view. Then this is the side view. You will show this symbol. Then there is a one section view here D. See this section view we took from here and this bottom piece cover see this one then uh, this upper view you will see looks like this and here we have some section view see third section view and uh, see this B and C this is the third section view let's create outer body then we will cut outer body see 100 diameter then the gap 8 millimeter this thick flange thickness 10 millimeter this flange diameter you will observe from here, this view, 160, okay? Then, 100 comes up at top, you will see here, this upper diameter 80 millimeter. And here you will see the height, 10, 1, uh, 110 and 125 from this flange, okay? We will do this, then we will create this flange. This flange diameter, total diameter you will see 80 millimeter and outside to outside length 120 millimeter. Okay, we will do this also. Then we will make, uh, okay, before going to cut, cut out, oh, let's do this first. Right plane sketch, activate line tool. okay right click exit now this is complete circle make center line as a construction geometry okay first diameter keep outside 100 millimeter similarly for this uh, this is going to be 160 now this one 80 okay now distance 8 millimeter this flange height 10 millimeter okay now this length 110 millimeter okay now distance from this bottom flange to this 125 now you will see here okay now select these two collinear apply revolve boss base because we want to create a circular body due to this construction line profile is open so system asks would you like to close say yes now look by default system took this line as a this axis of revolution and by default angle also apply 360 degree say yes now let's choose front plane sketch activate circle Draw one circle, activate center line and connect from bottom edge to this line. Exit. Now make sure this line vertical. Click and apply vertical relation. Now this diameter given 80 millimeter and the distance from bottom edge is 60 millimeter. Okay. Let me extrude this. Here keep end condition mid plane and here apply 120 millimeter. See it is material moving both side equally. Say okay. Okay. Let's check flange. Okay 160 proper. Now let's do this inside cutout. See 90 millimeter and top 54 millimeter depth 50 uh, 13 millimeter okay then these ho whole diameter 54 throughout okay then we will add fillet see here all unspecified fillet are 3 mm see inside mention this outside only one fillet r5 rest all 3 m3 uh, r3 so we will do this also right plane sketch activate line tool connect from here to here
राइट क्लिक सिलेक्ट एंड एग्जिट सेंटर लाइन कंस्ट्रक्शन लाइन ओके दिस डायमीटर हाउ मच 90 मिलीमीटर ओके सिमिलरली दिस वन 54 मिलीमीटर आई गेस ओके दिस इज 54 मिलीमीटर एंड द डेप्थ 13 मिलीमीटर गो टू फीचर अप्लाई रिवॉल्व कट बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू कट इन सर्कुलर डिरेक्शन से येस बिकॉज दिस प्रोफाइल इज ओपन बाय डिफॉल्ट एक्स सेंटर लाइन सिलेक्टेड एज ए एक्सिस ऑफ रिवोल्यूशन एंगल थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री से ओके फ्रंट प्लेन स्केच एक्टिवेट सर्कल एंड लेट मी ड्रॉ ए सर्कल फिफ्टी फोर नाउ हियर अप्लाई एक्सक्रूडेड कट फीचर एंड हियर सिलेक्ट थ्रू ऑल बोथ से ओके ओके वी फर्गेट टू मैंशन ओके सी दिस डिस्टेंस एडिट फीचर डिलीट दिस वन एंड दिस डिस्टेंस गिवन फ्रॉम हियर सिक्सटी मिलीमीटर एग्जिट ना परफेक्ट फिलेट कॉन्स्टेंट टाइप अप्लाय थ्री मिलीमीटर दिस वन दिस वन इन साइड एज now inside this also important now here come down apply here multi radius and select this one make this one 5 okay look now do one thing let me apply some dark color so it looks more practical okay let's check section view right plane okay look see inside her shapes and everything see here exit <coughs> now see section d there are holes these hole diameter see uh, there is a one uh, broken view four number of 10 dia holes and here also thread so angle between hole is 90 degree so 45 from uh, vertical and pitch 135 then these hole 30 diameter okay this hole see the position this is important front plane sketch circle for construction okay now i am going to apply here this point to circle and let me apply one circle here center line Okay, let's assign some dimensions. One thirty-five, thirty millimeter, ten millimeter. The angle going to be forty-five degree. Okay, let me say select both circle equal. It's still not defined. So let me connect with construction line. circular pattern now here select this circle 360 equal spacing and four number of hole we need say okay now holes are not defined so make one relation select center point and the pitch coincide relation similarly do for other holes and this is fully defined sketch now simply go to feature apply extruded cut i want to remove material so direction to cancel Direction one, either choose through all or next. Next means see, this is going to cut only up to the thickness of material. 
Okay, let's apply the last fillet here, three millimeter. Okay, now this is perfect node. Now here at top there are four holes, see the pitch 65 and uh, see there is a broken view also but you will see in section view there is a B hole, B where this is detail B. Depth of hole 10, thread depth 8, M4, four number of holes. Similarly in other side same hole M4, 8 but there are 8 holes at this position. Then we will make this uh, symbol CAD CAM, uh, depth is 15, okay let us see how we do this, hole wizard, select is straight tab, ISO standard port, bottoming tabbed hole and M4, now thread depth 10, uh, hole depth 10 and thread depth 8. Position, select top face, exit. Let me draw one construction line. Sixty-five millimeter. Now select point and apply hole at this point. See, this is fully defined. Say OK. Let me activate detailed view. Detailing shaded cosmetic thread, okay. Now see here, circular pattern. Now feature selected direction, either choose circular face, circular edge or axis. Let's say face, four number of hole we need. Angle you must apply, okay, by default 360. Equal space, this is, okay. Now let's do same for this, hole wizard, straight tap, ISO standard bottoming tap, hole M4, hole depth 10 millimeter up to shoulder, not up to tip, thread 8 millimeter with thread call out, keep this one, position, select this face, activate circle, let's draw a circle, make for construction. 65 activate point and apply any point let's say this point okay circular pattern select this surface four number of the same thing we just repeated now let's mirror this to other side mirror now this is and uh, make uh, plane, front plane, see the preview, okay, let's apply front right plane, A sketch, Okay, let me apply from the here. Let me draw one more. Okay, keep distance 7.5 because our uh, Letters height 15, select this line, apply here CAD CAM, uncheck this one, let me choose here Arial and height 15, okay, but there is a problem, 
it is located at center of this perfect now here you want to flip vertical flip horizontal flip horizontal now see it looks perfect shape say okay now go to feature exit and here apply wrap feature first i want to emboss and one millimeter wrap analysis spline sketch selected let me choose surface so i'm going to select this surface depth one millimeter see arrow direction this side okay click this uh, and make little darker see I think we done okay look this is what our uh, result don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.